how I mentioned in my last haul that most of the books that I ordered were actually in Import Hill and that this video will either be me bitching about getting refund for all of it or getting all of the orders and now having a big haul. Luckily, it's gonna be a big haul. Hello everyone, this is my name is Adarius and welcome to my manga haul of February 2023. It's already February. No, it's not already February. It's the end of the February. It's March. It's freaking March. <laughs> anyway, I have a big haul because it is left over from last month's haul as well as some new stuff. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this haul. There's two new entries as well as a lot of other good stuff. So let's just jump straight into it, shall we? And first up, we have Hulk Volume 1. What I like about this volume, I have not read it yet, but what I like about it is the cover. Because I have noticed that the four covers that we have available right now is going to be the first four volumes. They are connected, so you can actually spread them out and get this wide ash image. And I'm pretty sure that all the seven covers are gonna do that because I believe there's gonna be seven of these. There are more of the singles, but looking on Wikipedia and the ISBN, it is actually referring to a different edition of it where there's only seven volumes, so there's more chapters per volume, but they're not thick or uh, omnibus or anything, it's just a special edition. So we'll probably just get seven of these, which means we should finish collecting health next year which is not a bad deal, but I'm looking very much forward to start reading Hulk probably later this year. It will, yeah, it will definitely be later this year, but yeah, Hulk. Have you actually read Hulk? What do you think about it? Is it a good story? I hope it's a good story. I've heard nothing but greatness about it, so I hope it's a good story, but yeah, volume one. And next up we have Kaiju number eight, volume five. What I like about this is this is actually the tail end of when I started getting into Kaiju number eight. I actually started getting into Kaiju number eight in volume four. Some of the chapters in there where Kafka actually got captured and interrogated. And this just picks up from that and then goes on from there. And the good thing about these volumes is that they, the way the panels are laid out, there's not many panels on each page, but they're very well drawn, detailed, eccentric, and impactful and you just fly through a volume. If you have ever looked on the Manga Plus app and then at the end of each chapter, just look at the comments, you will see that everyone complains about everything, which is not the everything. Everyone complains about the same thing, which is that's 20 seconds done and now they have to wait a week or two to the next chapter because that's basically how the experience of reading Kaiju number eight weekly is or whenever a chapter is released they fly by so fast, but that's not a bad thing. It's just because it is as insane as it is. And volume five did not disappoint. Yes, I've already read it because that's what I do now. I try to read my backlog. I still have a long way to go, but I've managed to reach this one at least. And it is a banger. And next up we have Mashal's Magic and Muscle volume 10. I was actually surprised because normally we have a lot of different battles, a lot of different type of shit happening in each volume. They are packed to the brim, but this is basically just Mashal versus whoever this, I can't remember whose name it is, but that guy. It's one battle that has a lot of different things going on in that battle, but it's basically one battle. And now we're a bit surprised by that because again, the other volumes had not followed that formula, but it's not a bad thing. We're just amping up and I just love this series. The humor, the action, the weird art style that when it needs to be gets serious, just like One Punch Man, it just never gets old. And I'm just looking very much forward to see what the future brings. Now I could catch up on the Manga Plus app if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna. And next up we have Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 7. This is one of the leftovers from last month. I have not read this volume as well. I have not read volume five and six of Jujutsu Kaisen. I have not caught up since I read what I have of Jujutsu Kaisen. But all I remember is that a tournament was about to begin. I think. So I'm looking forward to that whenever I get around to reading that as well. I have other things I'm reading right now. In case you're curious, you can almost see it here. I'm not quite sure if you can catch it on camera, but right now I'm reading Akira Toriyama's manga theater. And that's a joy. That's, that's such a fun manga because it is I mean it is all the short stories he did that is not Dragon Ball related or Sandland or Kartika and also it has his first 
published work ever. So there's that. But anyway, Jujutsu Kaisen volumes. I'm looking very much forward to catching up on Jujutsu Kaisen again. This is actually a thin volume. Is this from Italy? I hope not. It's from Italy. Shut. Which means it is poor paper quality. Oh well, win some, you lose some. And next up, we have Firefalls Volume 20 and Firefalls Volume 21. This is also a leftover. And as you might have remembered, last month I got Volume 22, so I had the gap of Volume 20 and 21, which was kind of a bummer, mostly because at the time I was still reading Firefalls. And even though I got Volume 22, once I got to Volume 19, I could not read further because I was missing these two volumes. And now I am done reading Fire Force and have moved on to other things, such as Monkey Theater. <laughs> so now I actually need to get back into Fire Force, but I'm gonna put it on the back burner because I also have Jujutsu Kaisen to catch up on. And other shit. I mean, not that much shit, but, but a new, uh, new series I have accumulated. I also have other series to catch up on. But anywho, Fire Force. And that is Black Clover Volume 8, Volume 9, and Volume 10. So, these are the remainder of last month's haul. Here's the thing, I am now halfway done with my goal of Black Clover for this year. Sure, there's a lot of leftover from last year, but my goal this year is to accumulate the first 20 volumes of Black Clover. And by getting up until Volume 10, it should be doable this year but I still have a few very expensive volumes left this year. I have one more volume of Berserk, I have three more volumes of Bill of the Immortals, I have a One Piece Compendium, so on and so forth. But that should it, should it should be feasible. And I hope I can do it. I also hope I can get more, but at least I hope I can get the first 20 volumes. But this is actually one of the series I'm gonna start reading before catching up on Jujutsu Kaisen and Fire Force because I also want to dive into that to see what the hype is about. I have heard a lot of good things about it, so let's just hope those things are true. I mean, otherwise it would be a waste of money, but I don't waste money. And next up is Noise. Noise. This small hardcover is also known as, at least when you look at the German edition of this, it is volume zero of Lane, which is funny because this is it by vertical. Oh, this is by Condange. Mm, so that's that might actually explain it because I was I was wondering why is noise the hardcover edition here so small when we have Blame the Masters edition and that's pretty much the only version you can find Blame in anymore. The singles are out of print, out of stock. So so I was wondering, but that's because it's by Condange and not by vertical so it makes sense but it does look weird on the shelf because on the shelves i have helsing deluxe edition and next to that i have blame the master edition same height and then you have this small bad boy i can't really put it between helsing and blame it's gonna look fucking weird so i'm probably just gonna switch helsing and blame around and make, make, make it work but yeah noise it is the prologue for playing. I am not gonna read it yet, however, because I think once I get back into reviewing manga, it might be this year. We'll see. But once I get back into it, I want to include it in my playing review, since they are connected. But yeah, now I have finished my playing collection again because Volume Zero or Just Noise is available. And next up, we have Record of Ragnarok Volume 5. I mean, this Record of Ragnarok, of course, the whole volume is awesome. This ends the fight between Poseidon and Sasaki. It has the final chapter in that fight, and then it starts the fight between Hercules or Heracles and also Jack the Ripper. And it is one of the best fights in the whole tournament, according to me. Um, there are two other fights I probably like more, but it is definitely top three. And I mean, I'm, I, I just can't wait for us to catch up because there is 14 volumes out right now, so we are way behind. There's a lot of tournament left to be covered by the volumes, but it's such a fun series. I love it. Tournament, the manga series. 
that's it. And next up we have Fist of North Star Volume 7. This was a heavy hitter emotionally, if you have read Volume 6. At the end of that, something happens with one of the main guys, or at least one of the guys in Kenjiro's crew. And this follow ups on it, and such a beautiful ending to that arc, but also an interesting beginning for the next arc. And I just love this series. This series, it's stupid, fun, but holy hell is it fun. It's just, what if the 80s made one single manga? with all the action to touch the own from Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dolph Lundgren and Sylvester Stallone, you would have this. It's that good. I love it. It is great. It's stupid. It's nothing deep. It has barely anything to offer in the action department depiction, if that makes sense. So the action paneling and how the art flows there is very clunky because apparently they haven't really figured it out in the 80s, maybe? At least most of series I have read from the 80s haven't really figured out how to convey action and movement until Dragon Ball showed up, but it doesn't matter because it is epic awesome. So even though it's a shortcoming of Physical Nerve Star, it doesn't really impact it that much because there's not that much martial arts fighting. It's basically just a bit of punching and then Kenjiro just being a badass. But yes, <laughs> great volume, highly recommend it. All right, I only have two more volumes to go and then that will actually be this tunnel. And first up, we have Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 Golden Wind Volume 6, such a mouthful. With this volume, we are two thirds of the way through Golden Wind. There will only be three more volumes to go and then we will have all of Golden Wind, which means even though I promised myself I was not gonna wait until I have accumulated all of part five before starting reading it, because it's taken me so long to actually dive into my backlog. Now, that's actually gonna be reality. I'm not gonna read it until I have everything because we're gonna be done this year, might as well. And then at the tail end of this year, we're also gonna start part six. This has announced that in November, I think, one one, of part six is gonna come out. This is gonna be awesome. That's called Stone Ocean. Stone Ocean. <laughs> part six is called Stone Ocean. But yes, I'm looking very much forward to reading JoJo's because huge fan. And part nine just started. Just read the first chapter. It's JoJo, all right. <laughs> it's not what I expected, considering this is apparently it. The final part. All Jojo's and also the accumulation of part 7 and 8. It's gonna tie it into a neat bow, and it doesn't seem like it will, but it is one chapter and it is Araki, so who knows? Anywho, we only have one more volume to go. I know it's been a lot, but it's basically two manga holes in one. But let's just get to it. And that is Vinland Saga Volume 13. Can't believe it's already here. For me, I have already only just bought volume 12. I did that a year ago, basically one year ago, if I'm not mistaken. Probably am, but yeah. Volume 13, I don't have room for it right now, so I need to think out. I need to rearrange this because I don't have room for it. What I have found out is that volume 14 or volume 15, when they do land, that's go it's gonna be at least two years because we are 100% caught up with volume 13. There's only 26 volumes out right now, if I'm not mistaken, in the Japanese singles. So we are caught, caught up completely. But apparently if Yukimura actually gets his way, volume 14 or volume 15 will be the end of Finland Saga. Then he will have concluded the series and that's gonna be it. He plans for only 20 or so, 20, 25 or so more chapters than what is out right now. That's going to be But now I have no excuse again <laughs> not to read Vinland Saga. I was actually planning on After Fire Force starting Vinland Saga, but because I was waiting for volume 13 to arrive so I can get all of it, I skipped it and went on to manga theaters and such. But it's gonna be one of the series to start next. <laughs> but that is my manga haul. As you can see, it was a lot. What does your manga haul look like? And have you read or are you planning to get Helk? I'm actually quite curious about that one because I don't see a lot of people talking about it. But the few I've seen talking about it, 
I actually think it's great. I'm recommended. So, help? Is it something you want? Do you want noise? Blame fan, maybe, but spe specifically Hulk. I am looking forward to getting the rest of the series and also see how that those connected colors gonna look like. Normally, I mostly enjoy the spine work when those are connected because that's what you're gonna see on the shelf. That being said, I do not mind connected covers. So there's that. So again, what does your manga hole look like? I'm looking very much forward to see what you have gotten and also how it differentiates from what I've gotten because as you probably could tell, I am very much an action shonen slash seinen guy. I have other stuff, but that's pretty much my forte. Um, I'm not gonna keep you any longer. This video is already as long as it is, um, but look forward to my next video. I don't know when it's gonna come out. Hopefully it will be before the next manga hole. But look forward to it. I think it's a good topic. It's actually gonna be a manga topic. So not just, <laughs> I'm bad. Anyway, and I need to jump in real quick because it turns out I'm still a big idiot. So even though I just talked about my manga list, I still forgot to update it. So I'm gonna do that right here so I don't have to remember it in next month manga haul. So first things first, noise. I just got it, let's cross that one out. And then if you jump back to the original list, Vinland Saga, volume 13, I got that as well. So I am already making great progress on my manga wish list. All right, back to the video. It's gonna be a good video, I hope so. At least um, I need to make it first, but I have plans for it. And always, until I see you in the next video, remember to stay awesome. All right, see ya.